Hey everyone, Plasti Dip sent me a bunch of different materials so that I could experiment with paint for my next project, which is Nemesis from Hades. I'm so excited. So they sent me a bunch of different things. I did a bunch of tasks over the last few days. I'm gonna share my findings with you. And at the very end, I'm gonna show you and tell you what I'm gonna use for my project. So stay tuned. Let's get started. All right, first up we have EVA 38, which is what we normally use for all of our projects. This is very easy to find in your hobby stores, online. Uh, this is generally what you're going to get. This is Shore Density 38, and I heat sealed it in different amounts. I've got unheat sealed here, and then a little bit more as we get to step four here. You can see how shiny that surface gets with more heat. And I used 650 degrees Fahrenheit through my heat gun, which is just the temperature that came right out of my heat gun when I turn it on. All right, next I have EVA 70, which is a lot denser than the EVA 38. Definitely heat sealed. It's just a little harder to see how shiny it is or how heat sealed it is because it doesn't get very shiny. At same temperature, I did play around with getting um, hotter temperatures to heat seal, further heat seal this denser material, which I think worked a little bit better on my samples that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. On these samples, I also used this black Plasti Dip. This is EVA 38 and EVA 70. This top row here has three layers of the black Plasti Dip and the bottom row has five. Notice the big difference between three layers and five layers. It's really significant. I think I'm gonna start using at least five layers on my Plasti Dip projects. Let's talk about EVA 70, which is a lot more dense. The EVA 70 has a lot more imperfections. They're not really imperfections, they're just holes on the surface. And I believe it's because, that, again, the material is a little bit more dense than the EVA 38 and it might be resisting closing. So maybe a hotter temperature would help solve that. I don't know. So these samples both have one layer of the Placida primer. And then the upper levels here have two layers of black Plasti Dip and the bottom one has four layers of black Plasti Dip. That, that's a pretty significant difference there. I am still seeing those holes in the EVA 70, so the primer didn't seem to help with that very much. Okay, next up we have this luxury metal that I've actually had in the garage for a while. Uh, it just seemed like a really great time to test this out. Okay, so I have EVA 38 and EVA 70 again, and uh, I really love this coverage. Look how shiny that is. So this is three layers of the luxury metal on heat sealed EVA foam. So there's no black underneath this. There's no primer underneath this. It's just this can sprayed three times, uh, following the directions, of course. Uh, and I love the coverage. Even the holes in the EVA 70 seem to be filled in a little bit more than, um, than with the regular black. This looks really great, and I think that maybe additional layers, if you got it up to five, it might be even more brilliant. Okay, next up we have the Pearlizer, which I was really excited to try. You guys, this is really, really great. It's really hard to see on this video, but this is EVA 38 and I, um, I masked one side of this off because I wanted to see if the sheen um, changed with this pearlizer. Um, but it's, it's amazing. I think the only thing is, is that when you see if, I, if you angle this into the light a little bit differently, you can see where some product, I probably needed to go over it with a few more layers. Um, these have four layers of the pearlizer, and it does recommend three to four coats average. So again, this is also on black material. So if you had a brighter material, that probably wouldn't be an issue for you. But look how brilliant, look how brilliant these are. This is EVA 70, again, with those uh, little holes in the surface. The pearlizer didn't seem to um, be able to get rid of those, probably even enhance them. <laughs> Okay, next up is the Plasti Dip Metalizer, which I was so excited to try out. What a cool product. Uh, so first of all, there's three layers of black, two light passes of this metalizer. And look at that shine. It might be hard to see in this video, but there are some metallic 
slight metallic flecks on here. But the thing that I really like about this is that if you, depending on which direction you're looking at, um, this piece can look super black or it can look very bright. So it just kind of depends on how the light is catching it. It also looks like there's a little bit of um, metal specks in there, almost like paint glitter, but not glitter, but a little bit like glitter. So this is a light pass and I was thinking to myself, well, what would happen if I put a little bit more on there? It actually says on the directions, don't do that. Um, so I don't know if I was breaking a rule or what, but I wanted to try it out. And so this is again, also three layers, but it is so much shinier and it is very, very, very smooth when I um, am putting my hands on this. It's, it's really kind of <laughs> amazing. Look at that. All right, the last one that I tested with Plasti Dip Glossy, and I was just curious about how the glossy would translate onto textured EVA foam. And this is what happened. The glossy is really going to pick up every tiny little flaw in the surface of your foam. If you're looking for something super glossy, I don't know that you can just put a glossy paint on EVA foam without getting the surface completely uh, smooth and free of those little pores. Because look at that, look at that texture. So these two are my favorites. I'm gonna be using the Luxury Metal and then also the black uh, in reverse order, black first and then the metal on top of that. I was really, really impressed with this metal-like surface on here, although it's very flexible, which is what we need for costumes, right? That we're making out of EVA foam. So I feel very confident that this is gonna be a durable solution and it's also going to be a really nice color and a nice uh, metallic color. So I'm really happy and I just can't wait to get started. Um, I'm probably gonna use about five layers of the black underneath at least three layers of this, but stay tuned. I'm gonna share my findings and my work, my work in progress with you. Um, so we'll see you next time. Bye.